This video is going to explain the operation of the spa touch. Uh, starting with the main screen that you're going to see when you use your hot tub, you will see uh, across the top some different things. Uh, starting from left to right, you're going to have an H, which stands for the different heat ranges. Uh, R, standing for either ready or rest. F or F2, that's going to be the uh, filter cycle that it's in. O3 means the ozonator's on, of course, the time. Uh, to the right of that is the symbol for the Wi-Fi. This particular hot tub here uh, does have a, a uh, wave wireless setup on it. And to the right of that is actually something you can press and it's going to flip the display into the spa. So when you're in the hot tub, you can read the, the display easier that way. All right, so next, uh, let's just start with here, the easiest thing first, your temperature. Um, the control will display their current water temperature uh, when it's lit. Press the temperature, and it'll turn orange, that is your set point. So right now, our set point and our actual temperature are the same. Uh, if you want to lower or raise the set point, press up or down to do so. Um, Moving on, uh, you have a, a shortcut key here for the spotlight, a key down below it for the Bluetooth audio. Um, to exit this, uh, hit the return arrow on the upper left hand screen. Now starting at the other side on the top, you have your jets or your pump functions. Um, so right now you see jets one is on on low speed, that's why that is lit blue and it's turning slowly. Uh, depending on the spa, uh, Jets 1, Jets 2 may both be both speeds or two speeds or Jets 2 might just be a single speed. So right now, but on this particular spa, Jets 1 and Jets 2 are both two speed pumps. So a second press of Jets 1 will speed the, the icon up. One press of uh, Jets 2 will turn it on low speed. A second press will turn it up on the high. Lower single speed blower and another key for the light so same function as the shortcut to the light on the front page uh, but in here with your spa functions uh, to exit that again hit the uh, return arrow on the upper left um, down here at the bottom is the uh, settings menu now that's something we'll get into here at a, a little later in the video but that's uh, all your different settings Okay, let's go into a little more detail on uh, the settings screen we spoke about a moment ago. Okay, in the upper left-hand corner, first thing you're going to see is the heat. Um, what this does is it allows you to control two different things uh, for the heat settings. Uh, first is heat mode. Um, you have ready mode or you have rest mode. Uh, ready mode. Ready mode basically means that the spa is going to heat thermostatically. Um, the rest mode, the spa will heat thermostatically, however, it's only going to heat during a filter cycle. Uh, below that you'll see temperature range. You have high range temperature and low range temperature. High range temperature uh, has a maximum set point of uh, 104 degrees, whereas low range is slightly lower. Think of this uh, feature as something uh, you would use if you want to have two different set points. Uh, the two different set points can be activated by going into that uh, heat screen on the settings menu. So uh, high and low range and uh, heat mode. Next, you're going to have the time. Pretty self-explanatory there. Um, just uh, to set the time, you want to select the hour first, adjust with your up or down arrow. Once you get it to the time you want, hit the check mark to select. Next, we'll set the minutes. Again, up or down arrow to do so. Hit the check menu, check mark key to lock it in. Uh, go ahead and hit the return key back to the main or setting screen here in this case. Um, reminders. The reminders uh, are different things. Uh, on this particular spa, you see right now the reminders are turned off. If you want to turn it on, just hit it. Um, those reminders will be like change your filter, or change your water. Um, if you don't want to see that, simply just hit that to turn them off. If it's something you do want to see, go ahead and turn it on. Back to the screen here. Lock function. Two different lock functions on this spa. Um, you can do a settings lock, which will lock your filter cycle and heat settings for example, and then a full or panel lock, which will not allow the spa to be, you know, any of the pumps or light or anything to be turned on. All right, so to, uh, I'll show you how to unlock one of them. So let's do a full panel lock. So first I hit that, 
and then I press and hold the lock key up at the top center. You'll see now the panel is locked. Now if you want to unlock it, same thing, press that and then press the lock word at the top and it'll unlock. Next uh, is your filter cycles. Um, as you can see, this particular spot has two filter cycles set, uh, each of them for 10 hours. Uh, to adjust a filter cycle, again, much like the time, you select uh, the, the parameter you want to change, then you use the up down arrows over here, and then the check mark to lock it in. Hold. Hold will turn the spa off, you know, all the features of the spa off for, in this case, one hour. Um, so if you want to sit in your spa with nothing running whatsoever, um, it will turn everything off. Uh, now, right now with this spa, it did run a cool down cycle because the heat was on. So after that cool down cycle ended, it now went into hold. Now to exit hold, hit the return arrow at the top, and you'll go back to the main screen. So getting back into the settings menu, uh, next thing we're going to talk about is cleanup. So the way the cleanup cycle works here, number one, this is how long it lasts, but what it does is about a half hour after the last pump turns off, it'll enter on its own a cleanup cycle. Uh, the cleanup cycle turns uh, the ozone on and filters the water just to help uh, clean up after somebody's been in using the spa. Here in the lower right, you'll see a little arrow key. That's going to get you to more parameters in the settings menu here. Uh, first one there at the top left is M8. M8 is this spa pack's uh, quote unquote artificial intelligence. Uh, what that does is it varies the time from when the pump will automatically turn on to check the water temperature. Units, that's pretty self-explanatory as well. It's either a Fahrenheit or Celsius, and then you can change the time display from 24-hour time to 12-hour time. Language, again, there's several different languages you can choose from. Simply pick the one you want and hit the check mark. Next is info. Info is going to give you different parameters for the spa pack, types of software downloaded into it. Um, stuff more that your service provider is going to be interested in, more so uh, for their ability to troubleshoot and do uh, service work on the system. Last but not least is utilities. Um, again, much like the, the last menu, this here is more so geared towards a service provider. It gives them information that they may use uh, in, in troubleshooting your hot tub. So now we're going to exit out of there and exit back to the main screen. Uh, so that's a, a general overview of the, of the control here. If you have any uh, questions, please refer to your spot owner's manual.